You're live. Good morning. Hello, 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 hello. Can you see me? Oh, yes. Oh, no, no. Oh, it's the other way around. Oh, no, we got to do something different. Oh, God, did we do something wrong again? Okay, there you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Can we ever get this right? Hello, good morning. Okay, it's 11 Eastern Standard Time, and this is another live, as obviously you can tell from this Shamas all the beginning, of my YouTube channel, uh, my, my, my left frying pan. Blah, blah, blah. Listen, listen, I just got home from Vancouver last night. I got to bed at one in the morning. I couldn't sleep. My head was wired, and I knew that we were going to do this live this morning, and that I'm just going to open my refrigerator and make lunch, okay? Now, I've been gone for a week. And my husband is all alone in the house, running naked with scissors, I'm sure. And so, I don't know what's going to be in there, okay? So, uh, come on, let's go to my fridge. And somebody oh. somebody comment that you can hear us. Oh, you, oh good. You can see us, but just let us know you can hear us. Oh, can, us oh okay. Up. Yeah, give us a thumbs up if you can hear me. I have my microphone on, but anyway. Oh, Helen says, good morning, Marilyn. Good thank morning. Thank you, Helen. Oh, good, thank you. God bless you, Helen. <laughs> Welcome to my love frying pan. Okay, listen, I feel so giddy. And like, I'm usually hyper anyway, so I'm like mental this morning. All right, so here's the big reveal. And, and Bridget, do not go in that back room. It's a disaster, okay? Just stay within the kitchen. All right, here we go. Da, 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 da. That's kind of boring. It's actually kind of neat. What? He always leaves a disaster. You want to come and look? Oh, no, 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 no. Here's something good. Oh, I told him to eat this kale. Oh, we're not eating this kale. Oh. This is the, oh, it stinks. Oh, Every that's too bad. Clap, clap, clap. <laughs> I am going to put this in my composter. I hate throwing away food. It makes me crazy. Well, just, I just, I threw it by the back door. Okay, anyway, all right, so what am I going to make for lunch? Uh, I've got lots of, maple. oh, hey, these are energy balls. Uh, I like my balls, and, uh, but we're not eating those for lunch. Okay, so I should make something with, oh, I got a little bit of, I got, that's a dead looking cabbage, but I could cut something off. Oh, look, uh, a kind of not so dead zucchini. We're going to use that. Okay. And I think I'm going to use, and that's a sad looking red pepper, uh, green onion, red onion, carrots. Hmm. He's got more. Oh, that's a leek. That's a leek where I took a leek in that soup thing I did a couple of weeks ago. Uh, oh, I've got heirloom carrots and some celery and I don't want to use that. I think I'm going to have eggs. I think that's the best bet. We're going to have eggs, okay? And so uh, I left him a dozen and he's eaten two. So that's, wouldn't that have been awful if I'd opened that up and there was no freaking eggs? Anyway, so let, I'm going to do eggs for lunch, okay? And I'm going to use my world famous, uh, this is my secret ingredient, la bamba sauce. La 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 bamba. And you should never leave your fridge open like that because it just gets all the heat out. Okay, so um, I'm going to make, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make eggs, but I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to saute, hang on, i got to wash this. Um, I'm going to saute, look at this, isn't this fun? I love this sauce. Uh, it's one of those Delta ones, it's really cool. Okay, good. And you know, if you've got like guck on your hand, you can do it like that, and you go like that with your nose. See, I did it with my nose, awesome. Okay, so I've got like a heel of an onion, which would actually be pretty good in a soup, but I'm going to use it for this, and knives. Okay, so, all right, so hey, you guys, I was away visiting my mom. It's my favorite knife. Dull as a dish. Oh, my gosh. So dull. Okay, so uh, I, I sharpen my knife, you know, however I might, might use it. But this, this, is, this is basically just sort of hones it. <laughs> oh, you should have seen it. We were, I've been recipe developing and it was so terrible, like so terrible. Like you couldn't even see anything in the back. Uh, it was bad. Oh, you know what? I didn't wash my hands. Oh, for the love of Pete. Okay. So I usually have dish soap here, uh, that I use for my hands. Uh, yeah, my fridge is messy too. And, uh, but you know what, you really actually, you know, here I'll, I'll talk because now it, it, it's a lot more organized than it was. Uh, but if it's really, really crowded and you can't see the back of your fridge since like, I don't know, since the last time, you know, uh, we, we won the Olympics, which was never. Anyway, so then you would, uh, you're not getting really good uh, refrigerator temperature. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just I think you mean rambling. Cup, do you? Sorry, what? We won the Olympics. We haven't won the Stanley Cup in a long time. 
okay, are we talking about, okay, I was talking about Canada in general. Okay, so whatever. Don't even think of that uh, metaphor, simile, I don't know what it was. Anyway, I'm going to dice up some, uh, some zucchini and I'm going to turn my pan on and I'm going to saute this and then I'm going to stick some, maybe some eggs in it. Um, anyway, so yeah, I've been gone for a week. I visited my mom. She's 91 and, uh, and we decided that we were going to maybe do some live ones, some, some more YouTube live shows because they're so effing scary and I, I like scary. I was in Second City for a really long time and that's when you improvise, right? It's a whole improv group. Anybody? Hands up! Who's heard of Mike Myers? Hands up. Yeah, he was in my touring company. Name dropper. Anyway, and uh, he drops my name all the time. Anyway, uh, Marilyn who? Anyway, and so... Uh, yeah, so I love that fear factor. Like, but when I'm on, you know, City Line or BT or anything, of course I'm improvising. But uh, I, I'm I'm improvising with somebody. But it's way harder to just like talk in a all by yourself in a void. Okay, so if anybody's like a got a question, Chris says you're so cool. I'm so cool. <laughs> Aww. That's nice because I feel kind of like discombobulated, but I'm starving because um, this morning my husband said, well, if you open the fridge, it won't really be an improv. And I went, oh yeah, good point. So he made me coffee, so I hadn't opened anything. So I, I really was a bit scared. Okay, so you see this red pepper here. It's kind of, it's kind of got a smushy thing on it. You don't have to throw the whole thing away. I'm just going to take the whole top off. And, but the rest of the, of the pepper is going to put that in my, in my composter later. Um, oh, we got new green bins here in Toronto. Oh my God. Apparently the raccoon proof. Yeah. I'm going to believe that when that happens. I'm telling you, I don't know. I had to build a shed to house my, my green bin because the raccoons were always in, uh, in my garbage. Cause basically I have like excellent, absolutely excellent, uh, green bin action and uh so they would like get on their little bongo drums and go come on over to marilyn's house because it's so awesome her her garbage is fabulous anyway so then they would do that and then they have they'd go have use my roof as a latrine it was disgusting i put i put uh i tried they, they say if you put uh, rags of ammonia around so then i had ammonia rags over i couldn't even open my window anyway it didn't work so i built a shed anyway luann, luann says tell us again what you're making Okay, so I'm making um, sort of a, I don't even know what it is, but I'm, what I do, it's my, my nonstick pan, and when you use a nonstick pan, when you put the oil in, you have to kind of rub it in it, or it just all sort of sits on top, so I'm just going to rub the oil into the pan. Barbara says hi. Hi. Oh, um, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, the, okay, so I'm making this thing where I'm going to cook all these vegetables. Oh, what's that oil you see? Okay, so I only use two oils. I use heart healthy cannoli oil, cannoli oil, canola oil. I'm so tired. And I, I use extra virgin olive oil. But the deal with extra virgin olive oil, um, and I use Italian, is that if you don't get the real deal, if you're not getting authentic extra virgin olive oil, you're just wasting your money. And the way that you tell, I talked about this last time, you have to look for DOP or IGP on the label. And canola oil is the other oil that I use. And I started using that when I was in university. Um, my dad had heart disease and uh, it's got omega-3 fatty acids on in and the least amount of uh, saturated fat. Sorry, so, still want to know what you're making. okay, what am I making? All right, so I'm sauteing up a bunch of vegetables. Just dice them up out of my refrigerator because they look sad. And then I'm going to stick eggs in here and I'm going to cook eggs in it. Sorry, what? Please post the recipe. Oh, okay, I can't. I'm going to say it out loud because I'm just, I don't even know what I did. So somebody write this down. Okay, I got one sad-looking zucchini and diced it. And then I got one small red pepper that looked really sad and diced it. And then I added a little bit of red onion. And I'm just sauteing. And I'm going to add some cracked pepper because I really like pepper. So I don't use a lot of um, food that has salt in it because... In the food, you know, packaged food, they just use sodium. They don't use, uh, they don't add any iodine. And although there's naturally occurring iodine in sea salt and in uh, kosher salt, there's not, it's not standardized. So I use a pinch of iodized salt, just a little tiny bit. So I'm getting a little bit of iodine, but not a whole lot of sodium. Okay, so now, I think that's about right. I'm going to saute that a bit longer. And then I'm going to put in two 
eggs because I like them and it's a really good source of protein. Oh, Pat says, do you put parsnips in there? No. no, but you could. You could do any vegetable in the house. Actually, um, if I had uh, a heel of a, a sweet potato, I could have put a sweet potato in here. Why Whatever. Iodine is for thyroid function, and without uh, without iodine, our thyroids get really sluggish. And we used to get goiter, which is kind of like this big growth on your neck. It like looks hideous. That was like way back in the 20s, and that's when the government started putting iodine into the salt. And then the goiter incident went away. Now you can get naturally occurring iodine from dairy products, from uh, certain kinds of meats and beans, but a lot of people and wheat, whole, whole grain products, wheat, uh, whole wheat in particular. But a lot of people I found, you know, that when they've gone um, they, when they've changed their diet and they've eliminated food groups like the dairy products and the, and the grains, um, they're not getting enough iodine as far as I can see. And so I'm just concerned. Never take an iodine supplement. That's terrible. Um, you, you really need to go see your doctor. But uh, so I use just a little tiny bit of iodized salt. And then I don't use any salt in any of the products, like if it was canned tomatoes or canned soup or whatever. I use either no sodium, no salt added, um, or no uh, or, or low. And then that way, then I'm I'm adding the salt back, but a teeny bit, but with iodine. Okay, so oh, now, hi. Hi, hello, hello. oh hello. Look, I'm gonna put the eggs in, so I'm gonna bring this over and show you. So I made two little holes for eyeballs, and I'm gonna crack one egg in to the one little hole, and crack the second baby. And these are omega-3 eggs because omega-3 fatty acids, which is in the canola oil. I like to use in eggs because they feed their chickens flaxseed and uh, the flaxseed uh, omega-3s get converted by the chickens. Now I'm going to put a lid on. Hello from Huntsville. Hello from Huntsville. Is it freezing up there? Tell me. Oh, she said weather turns crappy capital letters, so I think that means that. I, no, because it's supposed to snow down here in Toronto. And when I was in Vancouver, it was it snowed and there was mayhem because you know being from, oh, I forgot La Bamba sauce. La Bamba. I'm going to put that on later. Um, so when I'm home by myself. Oh, it's uh, not quite snowing, but it's coming through. Is it coming? Yeah. yeah. You know what? I love winter, but I don't know. I don't, I hate being cold. Uh, okay, so just wash the green onion. I'm going to put some more onion in because I didn't think there was enough. But uh, like seriously, this is just flying by the seat of my pants. Okay, so I want to talk. Did you add water? Why is it steamy? Why is it steamy? Because the vegetables... Are, have water in them and they're releasing their their liquid okay so I don't want to take the lid off because it'll release everything so you could add I put a little bit of water here to add if I needed it I'll add a teeny bit that was like maybe maybe it was oh it smells good maybe it was not even a tablespoon that I got added into that and, and with the lid so the water from the vegetables especially zucchini is gonna uh, help cook the egg and I turned it down to low um, hey guys on Hello a, from Australia. Hello from Australia? Yeah. Hey, my niece lives there. Do you know her? <laughs> you gotta say her name. Her name is Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> I used to think that was really funny when I would go to travel around Europe or something and somebody go, Oh, you're from Canada. Do you know my friend in Edmonton? It's yeah. like, no, I don't. And I think Australia is pretty darn big. Anyway, hello from Australia. What are you tomorrow like? or are you yesterday? I don't know. Um, hey, so back to my prizes, okay? So here's something cool. So starting, uh, hmm, not next week, the week after, November the 23rd, I'm going to do a live one at the Fairmont Royal York. We're going to have afternoon tea, and I'm going to announce a fantastic giveaway for anyone who's watching that show. And, but you have, and, but, yes, hoo <laughs> <laughs> okay, did I mention I was jet lagged? Uh, you have to be a subscriber. So if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. You just click on the link and you know, blah, 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 and all of a sudden you're a subscriber. So if you're a subscriber, you're going to have a chance to win a fantastic giveaway from the Fairmont Royal York, which is awesome. Why won't this lid open? Bye, and. Barb. Hot, yes. Uh, Barb just says, gotta go, she's going to hot yoga, and um, it's Friday in Australia. It's Friday in Australia. Yay, oh, yeah, thank God it's Friday. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. You can watch the whole thing later, okay? This is going to live on YouTube. Anyway, hey, uh, come over here now uh, and see, like, okay, that's how I like my eggs. So I'm going to turn this off and I get a bowl. Come with me just a bit so we, get, we don't lose the microphone. And I think I'm going to use, hmm, I think. Okay, this is why you need to lift weights because these bowls are heavy. I think I'm going to use the one with the blue. 
I think I'm going to use, you guys thought, you guys want this one? You want this one? I like eating out of bowls. Or do you want this one? Any votes? No votes? I'm partial to the blue one. I, I like I like this one. I think I'm going to use that one, okay? All right, because I, I love eating out of a bowl. I think, it, I think it's fun. <laughs> and these are the little things that make my life fun. I like eating out of bowls. Okay, so that goes back up there, and this is ready. Oh, Luann says the first one. <laughs> it's too late, Luann. Oh, the first one? Oh, that was the first one. Yay! Okay, Luann, this is for you. All right, so how long did that take? Not even, not even five minutes, maybe. So I like them. Oh, this is going to be egg porn, man. So I'm just going to spoon that into my bowl, and I'm going to put the other egg on top. And this is kind of like probably about two servings of fruits and vegetables. Oh, look at that egg porn. Oh, yum. Big fan of the yolk. That's where all the, uh, the nutrient density is. The white mostly just has protein, which isn't a bad thing. Okay, so it's not quite as pretty as it could have been. I'm going to use La Bamba sauce because it's spicy. La Bamba sauce is, um, is like an Italian uh, antipasto condiment. And uh, get another fork. And oh, Sandra took a selfie with you not too long ago. Sandra Brawley. Okay, we're, we, was that city when you were well, you down a city line? Yeah, hello. That was fun. You sh did you post it anywhere? I looked, but I couldn't find it. Carol so, wants to see you at high tea. Okay, so Probably you'll have to come November the 23rd, and I think it's going to be probably around 1 o'clock. I don't know. We'll, we'll let you know. Um, and then we'll be back uh, live on YouTube, and I think the prize is going to be you win high tea and maybe I'm there too I'm really not sure and then later on in uh, going into December we're, we've got a whole bunch of Breville giveaways some fantastic things we have so many I want to give you guys presents for being such wonderful followers and fans and supporters uh, through this whole year because we've been up and running for an entire year Woo! <laughs> hanging in there oh my gosh who knew it was so hard to get subscribers I even suggested I would do an episode topless no I guess nobody wants to see the girls but trust me they're spectacular <laughs> okay I need more pepper anyway so this is my lunch all right so I don't know what you you're having for lunch but um, this is my healthy yummy nutrient dense fruits and vegetables protein uh, heart healthy fat with la bamba so that's it, I think. Oh gosh, I thought this would be, um, you know what? I, la, la, I keep losing my train of thought. It's like my brain is just wandered off. Okay, jet lag. Uh, all right, so I Can told you, you about next week. Thanks for the great ideas. You're so entertaining and a big LOL. Oh, who said that? Donita. So you've got a big oh. kitchen party going on. Mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. you have so many people in your kitchen. You know what? And I love that, that you're in my kitchen. I absolutely love oh, that. Joyce wants that you go to somebody's house and do Mila frying pan in their house. <gasps> That's a genius idea. Winner. Okay, you know what, we'll think about that. But I think, so next Thursday, no, not next Thursday, next Thursday, I can't remember what we've done. So we're gonna do two taped and two live a month. So the next live one is November the 23rd at the Fairmont Royal York afternoon tea and if you're a subscriber you have a chance to win something fantastic from the Fairmont okay so I'm wishing you uh, peace love and fiber and uh, yeah so I'll see you next week and keep all those love and give me a thumbs up or whatever it is okay yum here's here's to here's some lunch come to Huntsville says Carol oh I'd love to come to Huntsville you got a cottage or a house are you by a river is there trees <laughs> <laughs> you have an extra bedroom? <laughs> Bye, you guys. Bye. Mm. Mm.